Cheese is actually a metaphor here. First, let me tell you what the book is all about. Now, coming to the features of the text. It is one directional. Change is inevitable. But we often find ourselves struggling to accommodate with changes. We struggle to decide how to react to newer changes. Who moved my cheese actually helps us to cope up with such situations. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to Book Island. If you are new here, well, I am your bookish pal Juhi and here I post book related contents. Today, as the title says, I am going to review Who Moved My Cheese? Amazing way to deal with change in your work and in your life. Long subtitle by Spencer Johnson. So without any further ado, let me begin. Who Moved My Cheese is an inspirational short self-help book by Spencer Johnson. Spencer Johnson was an American physician and author. He was famous for his value tale series of children books and our today's book Who Moved My Cheese. The book is very popular. It has sold more than 28 million copies worldwide. First, let me tell you what the book is all about. It is a tale of four characters who live in a maze and seek out cheese to eat and make them happy. Cheese is actually a metaphor here. Cheese represents what you desire in life such as a nice job, a love relationship, money or things, health or spiritual peace of mind. The maze is where you go to find what you are looking for, whether it is the organization you work for, your family or the neighborhood you reside in. The issue is that the cheese continues to move and the book describes the ways one reacts to major changes in one's own life and work. It portrays four typical reactions to those changes by two mice, Snip and Scurry, as well as two little people, Him and Haw, during their hunt for, in quotes, cheese. The people in the novel are confronted with an unexpected turn in their search for the cheese. One of them eventually succeeds in dealing with the change and records his finding on the maze walls for you to uncover. Now my thoughts on the book. The book in a light-hearted way shows practical ways to deal with changes in our lives. At the end, it directly provides real-life bare examples and analyzes the entire book in a fun, intriguing way. It is a gentle sort that you can take when you are struggling to adapt to new changes. But the book sometimes has a preachy tone that I haven't at all enjoyed. It is one directional. It doesn't leave much space to think, reflect and accommodate in your own terms. I am going to talk the features of the text next but before moving forward I want to tell you that as you have enjoyed more than half of this bookish video I assume that you are going to enjoy my future bookish contents. So please subscribe to enjoy my book related videos. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that whenever I post a bookish video, it just knocks your phone. And, and, and if you are enjoying this video, please hit the like because it really encourages me to create fresh new contents. Now, coming to the features of the text. The language of the book is quite easy and conversational. Both of these points make it a beginner reader friendly book. The entire book is told from the third person omniscient perspective where the narrator knows it all. It has only 94 pages, simple style of writing, easy language so won't take much time to read. Now, rating time. Initially, I thought I would rate 4 stars but then I reconsidered and reflected I would like to cut another 0.2 stars for its preachy tone and one directional nature, 0.1 for each. So now I would like
like to rate it 3.8 stars out of 5 stars. Have you read Who Moved My Cheese? If it is, we can always have a discussion in the comment section below. Here we end today. That's all for today. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. And don't forget to share this video with your book or friends. I shall be meeting you with another book related video. Till then, bye bye. Abar dekha hobe.